Wait, did you just call this a walk-in closet? Well, yeah, for, I mean, it's, it's a tiny... <laughs> walk in that closet. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> So today we are in Beverly Hills, glorious, glorious day. We're about 1200 feet above sea level on the top of a ridge. And we're here to see this amazing, amazing house. It's $46 million. It is seven beds, 11 baths, 16,000 square feet and spectacular. Never lived in, brand new, completely well built from the, I want to say the studs up. What am I talking about? It's a brand new house. Come on, let's go. Everything in this house is like industrial. We've had a walk through it. Adam, open the door. You've got to feel the weight of the door. <laughs> I saw how you struggled on the way in. <laughs> oh, it's locked. It's locked? For real? It's locked. Okay. Should I go around the back? Uh, why would it be locked? Yeah. Go Stand by. <laughs> we can just speed this up in post. <laughs> How the bloody hell do you open it? Is this it? Oh. Hi Michael! Hello! Welcome to my crib! How heavy, how heavy is this door? <laughs> this is insane. Look at the thickness of it. It's like what? I don't know, 12 feet high? It's and huge. Solid steel. And it doesn't help they use salad bowls for door handles. Look at the size of this. I mean, this is, it is a salad bowl, right? Alrighty then. So here we are. Um, let's start at the beginning. Shall I at least show them the house a bit? Yeah. Yeah, we Mental. need to get out there. Yeah, let's start here. Okay, so this, when you walk in the house, I guess this could be like your office area. The beauty of this room is you don't have to bring somebody into the house if you're doing business or what have you, if you don't want them to come to the house, because this is everything you could ever dream of, right? How nice is this? I mean, it sort of could be an office, it could be a little like man cave, like uh, not that I smoke cigars, but that sort of a uh, card room. Wait, we have all of that downstairs. Oh, really? And some wow. on steroids. Let's continue. We never made shirts saying, let's continue. This is a stainless steel. I don't know if it's stainless steel, it might be raw iron. I, what is it? I don't know. It looks it's, mad. Is it heavy? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Get in the way of it. It's crazy. Yeah, that is enormous. So this is the main room you walk into and you have this insane, insane view. Look at this. Yeah, you this see all incredible. the way from over there. What is that, Adam? You know this stuff. Uh, well, over there is sort of out towards like uh, Long Beach, Inland right? Empire. No, no, Long Beach is over there. You can, in fact, you, oh no, because you've got Palos Verdes stop, in the stop, way. Stop, stop, stop. I didn't know if you saw there's a swimming pool there. <laughs> so PV is right there. That's the end of the Los Angeles Bay. And then it kind of comes around and then you've got the airport there. So this is like Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, the airport, Venice Beach. Catalina towards... Island in the background. Yeah, you can see Catalina. It's, and then, it's crazy. In fact, we could see the Channel Islands earlier as well, which you really don't see very often. Right. But the smog has rolled in and then it's disappeared. But isn't this nice? And it's real grass. A rare thing nowadays. How about that? So you're not gonna walk on it? No. Absolutely no need to walk on it. Come on, let's go in. We'll come back out here later and look at all the fun stuff. Do you wanna do it now? Can I go over and look at that fire pit? Go for it. All are right, you, let's do it that are way you coming? around. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Look, walking on the grass. Good for you. So, great walkway. This is fantastic if you've got dogs. Yeah. And just stand on there and then and then leap in. Ooh, I want to go under that, get my shoulders under there. That's the biggest tap you've ever seen in your <laughs> life, right? Oh, no way. It's got little bar stools. Yeah, bar stools, sit at the fire pit, roast your marshmallows. God, look at that. I mean, from down here, you literally are just over the top of everything. Isn't it superb? Look at the house from here. Everything. The entire house is covered in stonework. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's, it's really nicely gorgeous. finished. Absolutely gorgeous. Should we do more outside? Yeah, I mean, we may as well while may we're here. May as well, okay. Well, watch the step. It's amazing what eight inches can do. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, so here we have the barbecue. And like, like I say, everything is brand, brand, brand new. So 
Yeah, it's not. I don't think they've quite finished it here yet. No, but you can see they're working on it. It's labelled what goes in there. A mackle. Fridge. Oh, ice, ice maker. maker. Come on. So this. this wraps around and then isn't there like a tennis court or pickleball court? There is. And this is the biggest dog run known to man. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Diesel would it love this. It goes all the way around. It's huge. Nearly an acre, so... Yeah, That's area. what the plot is, nearly an acre. Yeah. Wow. And 25,000 square feet of this is flat, which is unheard of in Beverly Hills. Unheard of. Doors are motorized. I mean, they would need to be. How long is that? Uh, 60 feet. Easy. Yeah. What would you say? Yeah. Yeah, and the, the doors are motorized. I've never seen this before from both sides. Oh, so they meet so in the middle. They middle. meet in the middle. Yeah, you look at the tracks. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue. Dining table of insane proportions. One, two, three, four, five. So there's 12 seats here, and these are huge. So it gives you an idea of the size. I love the lights. I like the fact that it's sort of cut out like this. Well, if you sat here, you'd be uh, a little bit, your gentleman parts might get a bit squished. But yeah. I, I love the shape of it. Like, look at it from here. It's wild, isn't it? Cool. And then like a little snug area. That view is so wild. So much glass. I mean, everything is just view, view, view. And then check this kitchen out. Biggest sink you've ever seen. That is huge. Isn't it? I normally do this with like movie theater screens, but look. Yes. Yeah. Huge. And it has the sliders in it. So all sorts of things can happen in here. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Massive refrigeration. I love this. I love you, the fact that you can see through it. Yeah, but it means you've got to keep it really, really tidy, doesn't it? Uh, true, yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was a button that you could push to, like, frost this. Actually, it's a great incentive to keep things tidy. Yeah. In a house like this, you have a housekeeper, and I guess the housekeeper's role would be to make sure everything's perfect. Yeah. All the labels pointing the right way, like this, would drive me Ooh, yeah, yeah. crazy. Change that. Oh, that one's open. But it would, oh look, you could actually make the word coat right now. You could do it that way. Beautiful. Yeah, never mind. He's such an artist. I tell you. So yeah, look at this. Isn't that amazing? And if that sink's not big enough, here's another one. Looky, looky. Have you ever seen a touchscreen one? No, I haven't. This is fancy. And it, it looks like it pushes in. Oh. That's clever. Ah, wolf. Wolf. <laughs> Dishwashers, two of them. Just lovely. Another fridge here. What's that, like a little wine fridge, beverage fridge? Yeah, beverage fridge. Uh, another like kind of snug area. So you could sit at the bar, you could eat your breakfast here. I love this personally. Yeah, that's Another so nice. fridge. Oh, that, that's my fridge. Look at this. What do we have down here? Wine, lots of wine. And some Stellas. That was it beer? Do you know, I haven't drank a Stella. Gonna dare you take it. What, drink it now? Yeah. Like, now now? No, no. I'll have that when we finish as a little and the treat. The bottom one's also a fridge. More drinks. They Amazing. like Diet Coke here. Yeah, they do. This episode is sponsored by Diet Coke. <laughs> so, amazing, right? Very livable. Like, this whole area sort of it's flows huge, nicely. But cosy. Yeah. If you can say huge is cosy, but it is. It's just very welcoming and friendly. Do you know what I think really helps to make it feel more cozy, even though like you say, it's such a huge space? The wood on the ceilings. The, yeah, so the, the, the finishes are really nice. I like all of the sort of raw natural like woods and things. But if you look, all of the fixtures are very big, like chunky. Like look at the size of that light fixture. Look at the size of these here. And then did you notice the ones in the nook? I did. Yeah, like, they're like those, yeah, yeah. really and cool. Look, everything's big. So if you put like, look at this behind you. If you put small little things on that shelf, they it, would, look, it would lost, look ridiculous. But somehow it sort of fills it without it looking too busy. I'm going to show you something else. Like I said, this house is brand new it's not completely finished this is another kitchen this stone wall opens we're not going to go in because it's not done yet but this is where the the uh prep kitchen will be and yeah that's amazing, so right? awesome isn't that awesome yeah come this way 
This is just the start of the house. I can't wait to take you downstairs. Wow. Pickleball court. Yeah. Do you play pickleball? I know, uh, I know we did it once in, in a- This is the only in, time in, I've played. Ready. Here we go. Oh, okay, nice champion. Answer. Okay, so this here is the gym area. Wow. Look at that on the TV screen. That's Dubai. Isn't that cool? I think. I think that's Sheikh Zayed Road in Dubai. Ooh, Sheikh Zayed Road. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so here we have, we have a sauna. Let's go in. Give it a sniff. Oh, it doesn't have, the coals are still in the bags here. Oh. That's how new this place yeah. is. But it just still smells nice, yeah. the wood smells nice. So you have this. Next door you have, I guess it's a regular shower. Steam, this would be steam, right? Steam shower, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I really like that. And then, a loo. A loo. Very nice. Nice, right? And you go outside, and here you have your pickleball court, another outside area, fire pit. It's just lovely, isn't it? And then look at this mezzanine. So this is a balcony off something upstairs, obviously. Yeah, we'll get to that. Ooh, do you want to have your feet feel funny? I'm not going to the edge. Ooh. I guess a wall is going here. Yeah, you'd hope so. I mean, literally, look, there's balconies everywhere. Huge balconies, we'll, we'll go explore. Yeah, I love how much outdoor space there is here. Usable, like really nice, usable outdoor space. The water features are fantastic too. And you can actually see that from the driveway as well on the other side. Yeah, there's one on the other side that comes to, and as you approach the house from the street, did uh -huh. you see that? No. Oh, it's unbelievable. There's one like off the side of the house. As you approach the house, it's, it's like Niagara Falls, well, not ah. quite, but it's gorgeous, it's huge, it's got palm trees everywhere. That's cool. This would be, I think, a guest room, again, with a beautiful view. Wow. Closet, here's its bathroom. Where's the lights? Here's the lights. How do you make them brighter? Everything's fancy. I don't know how to make it brighter. You know what isn't fancy? What? Come on. <laughs> you don't want to plug Swan Toilets? We can plug Swan Toilets. <laughs> Best purchase I ever made. <laughs> Use code PM20 for 20% off your Swan Toilet today. Is it 20 or 15? I don't know. We'll put it on the screen. Use code PM15 or PM20. I, I can't remember. Or PM10. It'll be. It's one of those. It'll, it'll be right here. Okay, so here's a staircase to go downstairs. We're not going to use that one, we'll use the main one. There's multiple staircases actually. And there's multiple ways to go outside. Here's another restroom. So there's lots of restrooms on this floor. This is insane. This is tile, but it's wood. Yeah. You ever I seen like that this before? as well. I like how they fitted it into the shape. And the faucet. Yeah. But, but this is fun. Even something like this mirror. Look at the mirror. Who would have thought to put that there rather than just pin something on the yeah. wall? Very nice. It's a, it's a very interesting shape, isn't it? Yeah. I guess it's had to be like this to, to match the aqueduct. Okay, upstairs or downstairs? Let's go downstairs. Down, yeah. Downstairs. This is fun down here. These are beautiful walls as well, also tiles. Wow. A lot of thought went into this. Glass elevator. Wow. Commercial grade elevator. That's lovely. Not going in it, but... Check this out. So this would be... I guess the man cave, right? Are they bottles of tequila? 
I believe they are. Oh my goodness. Oh, it goes all the way around. Look at this. How many bottles are here? Whoa, that is crazy. Go have a look at that. So this is the wine room. One stray bottle. I guess they had a party and everybody <laughs> drank the wine. But seriously, dusty. Look. Oh my god. It smells amazing in here. Yeah, it does. How many bottles do you think you could put in here? Okay, I'm gonna do a pan and I want somebody in the YouTube comments to spend the time and count every single one. Ready? No one's gonna do that. I bet you someone will. Some hero. You think? Some hero is gonna tell us how many there are in here. You have to do the bottom as well and round here. Oh, look. There's more. We've look. Got, okay, we got that way. Oh. You didn't know I was a magician, right? <laughs> Ta da Water! That's um, very nice. Turn it to wine if you're such a magician. Yeah, right. All right. How many, guys? Give us a rough guess. It's a lot. And you mentioned card table? There's your card table. And here it is. How lovely. Yeah, it's very nice. How many bottles of this do you think you could put away in a night? Oh, God, I can't do tequila. No? I mean, I, I can, but like three or four shots. Luna Nueva. How many oh, bottles? Oh, it's locked. The keys down there. Nice to keep Adam out. <laughs> DJ booth here. Oh yeah, look at that. Do you want to see the best part? Yeah. This is not the best part, but I'm about to show you the best <laughs> part. But while we're here, these are the craziest tiles I've ever seen. They're like shields. Oh, they do, don't they? They're like kind of African, like tribal shields. You know, the big long ones. Yeah. It's amazing, right? Yeah. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? You didn't say yes or no. Yes or no. Whoa. The, the garage. It's like the back cave. How about this? I wonder if the, uh, the old Corniche comes with it. That's such a gorgeous car. How many cars you put in here? 10? One, two, three, six. Yeah, easy. Yeah, easy, right? And That's you can crazy. sit on the sofa and admire them. And look at them, yeah, exactly. Wow. Okay, let's go this way. I spy with my little eye something beginning with movie theatre. Yeah, movie theatre indeed. With an enormous screen. Look at that. Let me do my thing. Isn't this beautiful? I love this, the little recessed area. I'm just gonna stand here because look. <laughs> <laughs> Jump down there into the, the pit. Look <laughs> at this screen. It's like a movie theatre. And listen to the acoustics in here. It's perfect. Yeah. Do you want me to do my demonstration? No, I won't. <laughs> but the walls are all soundproof. They've got the speakers behind them recessed. I, I don't remember how many I was told is in here, but a lot. And then here you are, you sit down and you watch your, wow. I really like this. This is one of the nicest theaters I've ever seen in the yeah. house. But they keep getting better, don't they? Yeah. This is really well done. The only theatre that tops this one is at the one. I mean, it's because it's an AMC. Yeah, and that one is really not very cosy. If you think about it, this is cosy. This is this is my favourite of, of all the theatres I've seen. Yeah, I mean, I can fully picture being curled up there with a nice lady and watching a movie in here and not feeling like you're rattling around. Right. It's amazing. Beautifully done. Beautiful. OK, let's continue. The structure of the staircase is insane. Can you imagine what that weighs, that piece of steel? I mean, yeah, because these are all custom. They all have to be custom welded specifically for the space. Mental. That's another entry into the garage. And then this way, laundry room, very nice. There's two laundry rooms. I There's do one love the laundry room. It smells good in there. Yeah, it does. There's three tankless water heaters here. Wow. This is your in-law suite. Kitchen. I believe there's cooking stuff going in here or refrigeration or whatever. Uh, and then there's two bedrooms, a living room. Look at this, Adam. This, this is, is a perfect. whole house, right? Yeah, I'd live here. As long as I can use the pool. Spectacular view. Bedroom number one from here. Lovely bathroom. Lovely bathroom. View out the window, walk-in closet. Oh, wow. The light in this house is really nice. Yeah, I mean, it's so bright. Wait, did you just call this a walk-in closet? Well, yeah, for, I mean, it's, it's a tiny... <laughs> walk in that closet. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm in. 
a very nice closet though for it a is. little room like this. No, it is. You sounded like a typical LA realtor there. Yeah, right. And then just making sure. That, I don't want to walk into a I piece do, of glass. I do I? it too. And then you have balconies just for this sweet area. Amazing. So uh, a little bit of breaking the fourth. Well, no, I guess we always break the fourth wall, but we've toured that house. Yes, we have. With Caroline Choi, who now lives in Miami. What's that, Michael? You know, this is one of those, um, those. Um, it's, it's, Michael, it's, you don't it's, even it's, know what it it's is. It's a bowl in a sink. <laughs> we toured that house too. Oh, we did, yeah. 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 This house we're going to show you today, it's just finished its completion. It's been about three years in the making. It's a house of the future and got some crazy stuff in it that I've never seen before. That's the one with the, 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 the floors that do something to your oh, wellness. Oh, that's right, the right? posture floors. I didn't yeah, quite yeah. believe that. I don't believe it either. And then here we have another really nice bedroom. So this would be the in-law suite, guest suite, two bedrooms, living area. You know what Beautiful I could see bathrooms. this being used for is like a housekeeper and a nanny. Let's say you had a full-time live-in nanny. You could do that. You could do It'd that. It'd be perfect, right? Yeah. You've got, they could be self-sufficient. They've both got their own space. Yeah. They're in the house. It's lovely. Do you want me to show you something that we've never seen before? Yes. Okay. So this, this takes it outside to the, Whoa. the bones of the house. Oh my goodness. So check this out. So this is the bedrock that they carved into and there's 45 caissons that support this house and each caisson is thirty-five to fifty thousand dollars. This is a caisson. This is a caisson and they go about, I don't know, 60 feet into the ground Uh huh. and there's 45 of them and then this is the bedrock. These are the concrete pillars but check this out. This was a root of a tree that I guess they found dead when they were doing whatever from the prehistoric days. So these are air conditioning units. This is first floor, second floor. This is like in a hotel. This is insane. But and normally these would be up on the roof. Yeah, and they don't normally look this big. I mean, no. these are enormous. But this is the part I wanted to show you. So these huge, whatever you want to call them, tanks, each one 700 gallons, they collect the rainwater, the spillage. California has a, a law that you have to recycle the rainwater whenever we get rain, which is very rare. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine these ever filling up, but uh, you have to have them. And it collects all the rainwater and then, I don't know where it goes, but it goes somewhere. I imagine they reuse it, right? You just reuse it for watering the, the garden, yeah, flushing maybe. toilets, yeah, all maybe. that kind of thing. But how, how crazy is this? Yeah, because- And we're, we're under the foundation of the house. You never really think, do you, when you walk around these beautiful places and all nicely finished, it's like right. they have all of the workings that have to go somewhere. This is just insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, look at that. The mech room, mechanical room, has its own air conditioning unit. I know, isn't that something? You know, people, people say, why are these houses so much money? Well, they don't realize what it takes to actually yeah. build one and maintain one. So let's do some quick math, shall we? Okay. I know last week's, well, whenever it was, the last house tour we did, we spoke about how much it costs to truly own one of these. Right. So let's say that you were gonna buy this house. Right. Pull up your mortgage calculator. Let's figure out what it would really cost. So what what makes it? you assume I have a mortgage calculator? Because we spoke about it earlier. Yeah, we pulled it up. <laughs> okay, so mortgage calculator for this house. So let's say, $46 million, someone coming to buy this house, they're gonna put, most would probably pay cash for it, but let's say you didn't, they'd probably put, I don't know, 20% down or 16 million, let's, let's call it 16 million down, so they're mortgaging $30 million. Mm -hmm. At today's rate, the price of a mortgage would be $192,000 a month. That would be a payment on your mortgage, 192 grand a month. Yeah, but on top of that, you've got property tax. Okay. And then you've got insurance, yeah. and you've got maintenance. Mm -hmm. So property tax is probably 700,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So divide that by 12 is 60 something thousand a month. 6,000 uh, 6, 6, a yeah. month. Yeah, 6, okay, so month. now we're up to almost 200, 200 grand a month. And then insurance is probably gonna be 250 a year. 
250. 250,000. Insurance? Maybe more. $250,000 well, a year? it's a $46 million house. I mean, imagine having to rebuild it. Oh my goodness. I know, right? Crazy. And that's before you've even filled up all your fridges full of food and booze. That's before you've stepped foot in the house. Oh my God, it's I know. crazy. Crazy, it's crazy. The property tax is the one that gets me because that is purely just paid to the state of California for the privilege of living in your house. Correct, correct. And then if you came to sell this house, how much would they expect you to give them? So Los Angeles has this insane they call it mansion tax, 5%. 5% of the entire sales price of the house. So if this house sold for $46 million, 5% of that is $2.3 million gift to Los Angeles. And what do they do with that money? That's the question, right. nobody knows. Right? Certainly isn't repairing the roads. No, Just don't move to California. <laughs> on a more pleasant note, can, yes. you, can you go and sit on that couch, please? Yes. Because it looks comfy. Are you ready? Ooh, nice. Is it? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, this is very, very, Let's have a go. very, very Ooh, cozy. Yeah. yeah, it's comfortable. It's like ergonomic, isn't it? Yeah, it supports everything. Yeah. Nice. Well, it doesn't support your bank balance. It doesn't support your bank balance. It costs your bank balance. <laughs> Look how nice this is. Wow. Do you know what we should do? What should we do? When we come and do these house tours, we should hire an extra videographer who can run around and do B-roll. And then me and you should just sit on the couch and just talk about the house. <laughs> yeah, look, you just shot this beautiful room here. Yeah, I like that, right? <laughs> yeah, this is very nice. Very nice. Should we go upstairs? Let's go upstairs and look at the, uh, the, the fun bedrooms. Okay. Ready? Oh, I was going to do transition. Okay, ready? Do it. So, look at that, look at that. That's cool. Beautiful, right? Absolutely beautiful. Enormous, enormous lights. Imagine these in a quote unquote normal house. It's the size of a house. Yeah. I mean, they are absolutely enormous. I mean, look at the chains that are holding them. But spectacular at the same time. So this house has two master bedrooms. Master number one, really quite cool, isn't it? Look at this view, spectacular. Overlooking the pool, the mountains, the city, just superb. Yeah, I mean, you really do get such a great view from here. Cause like you say, you've got Malibu over there, all the way down to the ocean and then... That's Malibu, these mountains? Uh, start of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause that's PCH that runs along there. And then that's Malibu Hills. Beautiful though, right? Yeah. Huge linear fireplace. I like the way that you know, a lot of houses are now putting the beds in the middle of the room as opposed to up to the I edge. I was just thinking that. Because it's, you, it's very nice. You could very easily have had the bed up against that wall. Which would be the normal thing that most people would do. Right. But that creates that little walkway now right. to the bathroom. And there's no need to put it up to the wall, really, when you think no. about it. As long as you've got a headboard so your pillows don't slide off the end. Exactly. No, I like this. I think it's a, a really fun idea. Again, look at the size of everything. Everything's large. Yeah. Talking of large, so the closet here, it's not finished. We'll talk about the bathroom in a second, but the closet is not finished. This is 500 or 600 square feet. Well, it's got a living room in it. It's got a living room in it. This is the closet. It's not fitted out yet because um, the builder is going to custom fit this to the desire of the buyer because everybody wants something different. I mean, you know, some people have a lot of long clothes and shorter, you know, it, it depends what you want, but this is enormous. This is a closet for me. Yeah. To be fair, this is about the size of my closet. It, yeah, it's not far off, is it? Right? Yeah. But it's amazing, absolutely amazing. It's yeah. interesting when you see a space with nothing in it, it just looks enormous. Yeah. Very nice. Let's look at the bathroom. Great bath. Do you remember the days when baths were built into, mm -hmm. what was it, like a plinth? Yeah, like in the corner, yeah. up a step and yeah. Why yeah. did people do that? This looks so much cleaner. Yeah. 
That does look like a nice, uh, nice bath. Look at that shower. Yeah, huge. Very, very nice. Lovely shower. And again, hasn't been finished yet, so mirror and everything would go on there. But yeah, obviously illuminated. Yeah. Very, very cool. And the sink is great. Look at this. Never seen that before. No, either. on the ends. Yeah, that's a new one for me. And this is what you see in the kitchen. So this is a good idea as well. So you've got the liquid soap built in. Yeah. Nice vanity. little vanity. Nice. So this is, we're going to call this the junior master. Mm -hmm. Let's go and see the senior master, the big boy master. And that's another entry into the closet. Oh yeah. Ta-da. So open. Yeah, I mean, even having a massive elevator in here somehow doesn't seem that like intrusive. No, because it's glass, yeah. right? On the contrary, it's a, it's a focal point. It's yeah. Very cool. So this is the number one master. And this is just nuts. Look at wow. this. Electric doors, of course, uh, the sliders, pocket away. And this is what you have. Wowza. Thoughts, Adam? Could you live here? I really like this pool. What about the house? For me, a bit big. Yeah, it's probably a bit big just for you by yourself bit, and bit Diesel. A bit big just for me, but I definitely like it. But you get your steps in every day walking <laughs> you around. You would. Right? Lovely, you've got views in all directions. It's really very, very pretty. And then here we have the primary bathroom, and this area here is going to be closet. Ah, okay. But again, uh, going to be fitted the way somebody wants it. Enormous shower, steam shower. You wouldn't leave your, your towels in the shower yeah, there, right? A bit, damp. a bit damp, especially yeah. with steam. Yeah. But wow. Look how nice this feature is. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Very cool. I love these. Yeah, the natural stuff they've used is so nice, like the polish with the Even the, this, it's hidden behind here. You see, mm -hmm. it's, it happens invisibly at the bottom. Don't know how it works. I'm just trying to be smart and clever. <laughs> this is a loo and a oh, urinal. Yeah. Lights, don't know how it works. Has a hello toilet. For him and for her. For him and for her. No, this is, well, yeah, I mean, this could be go. used by both people. Yeah. yeah. I think it'd be difficult for a, him to do everything in there, right? It wouldn't be good. <laughs> you might plug the drain hole a bit. Yeah, but it's cool. You see a lot more of those, don't you, in, uh, yeah. in, in houses nowadays. And then this is a way out into the hall to more bedrooms. I'm still in the bedroom. Left turn. <laughs> you know it's a big bedroom when you don't know if you're out of it or not. I know, right? And then here we have a family bedroom. Anybody could use it. This I would describe as a walk-in closet. This is in fact a walk-in closet. But the other was a, like a, whether it be a nanny room or what it might be. Yeah. You don't see those types of closets no. in there. It's pretty impressive. No, you definitely don't. But how nice is this? And then here's the bathroom. Again, very lovely. Oh, I like this. Great shower. Look at these controls on the shower. Something we haven't seen either, right? Yeah. A little push button things. Nice. They do love a corner in this house, don't they? Yeah, it gives it a feature, doesn't it? Yeah, all the rooms have got a good corner in them. Beautifully done. Little accent walls, even this behind the loo. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Just a touch, right? Just a little, little touch of something. And then this bedroom adjoins the next bedroom. It's not a traditional Jack and Jill because the Jack and Jill share a bathroom. This has its own bathroom. This is your favorite kid. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Lovely bathroom. Once again, in the corner, as you said, you like a cut with a door. Have your shower, oh. go straight out, sit in your fire pit. Don't have to worry about putting clothes on. Walk in closet. See, am I wrong? They love a corner. Yep. It's very practical, actually. It makes sense. And then you have all of this space. Oh, wow, look, it goes forever. 
Oh, okay, so this is what I was pointing at from downstairs. Yeah, look, it goes this way too. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. You've been in the pool, you want to come up and shower, you can just come up and then go in through your little doorway. Right. You don't have to, because there wasn't Very a shower well... downstairs, was there? Um, multiple. Were there? Yeah. No, not like off the pool, I mean, like a pool shower. No, I don't believe so. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe so. But easy access to a shower. Yeah. No, this would be a great little sunbathing deck. And then you can overwatch the pickleball competition. So I hope you enjoyed this. 16,000 feet of pure opulence, 46 million bucks. You need to come buy this house or not. <laughs> it's nice to look at. Enjoy. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. We're in it to win it. Adam, what have I missed? I think that's it, mate. You did a great job. Go shopping. Um, yeah, go shopping. <laughs> buy a house. Switch the camera off. You gotta say bye. Bye.